Well, folks, once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Captain Boat Builder. Glad to have you back, and today is episode 15, and episode 15 is entitled Finishing the Assembly. And if you can believe it, it's hard for me to believe it, but the assembly of the boat is now complete. It's all put together. And what remains is the painting, white on the outside of the hull, and all of the varnish work on the inside of the hull. And these are the steps that are sort of slow and tedious, but they're very important because getting a good finish really makes the boat stand out and will wind up with a beautiful product. So I hope you enjoy uh, this episode today, and uh, thanks for tuning in. So as I mentioned, now I'm taking a break from the sanding. You can only sand so much, then you start going crazy. I'm going to be installing what the manual refers to as the decks. These are the little small pieces that cover up the flotation compartments in the bow. I wanted to point out to you that uh, when you get to this point in the construction, you can see where my finger is here. You've got this end and you think, well, how am I going to finish that off so that it looks smooth and clean? And I'll show you what I've come up with. Also, I wanted to point out here that if you see all of this surface, you see how this is fairly rough. And it's pretty important when you put the deck down that this is all smooth so you get a nice bond on the wood. So again, more sanding. But I wanted to point out that all this has to be sanded smooth. These rails have to be smooth. Now over here, I'll show you what I've decided to do and as far as uh, taking care of the end. So this is the other end of the boat. And you can see here that uh, with a pencil, I've drawn in the approximate curve of the nose of the boat. That's not quite finished. And if you look here, you can see that I've put tape over the ends of the rails and also down here on the bow. I'm gonna be taking this little empty space here and I'm gonna be filling it with the mixture of wood flour and resin and I'm going to fill the entire thing so that what will happen is when you start to curve this edge you're going to have the brown uh, wood flour filling this void and so there'll be a fine line there but it's almost the same color as these uh, rails so that's how I'm going to handle the end and this is how I'm going to round it off and you can see here that uh, See how it just about all goes together. When you get ready to put the deck on, remember that everything has to be sealed underneath. So this is the underside of the deck. It's got two coats of epoxy on it. Also, as I mentioned, you'll notice that this has been all sanded smooth. So we have a nice flush surface for the gluing. And I wanted to show you one last thing that I'm doing. It's just a small detail. If you look here, you can see that uh, this is the deck right here. This is the little decorative piece. This is approximately where it's going to be glued down. I've rounded this all out. If you don't, you wind up with something that looks like this, where everything doesn't quite line up. So I, I didn't like the way that looked, so I decided to round this all off. Also, when you get ready to glue the deck down, you can take the wood flour mixture, put it along the rails here, and also put it on the top of this initially before you want to fill it on the other side. And my plan is to use the wood flour, which is just about the same color as this, to put it under here, to squeeze it down, <clears throat> excuse me, squeeze it down and get it to ooze out, clean it up with alcohol, and then put the clamps on it so that we'll have a nice smooth transition from here to here. This is all going to be about the same color. So I'll be back with you to show you how this turned out. Uh, one small point that I forgot to mention is before you glue the deck down, I think it's not a bad idea to finish your sanding here completely because it's much easier to sand this area in a straight line when you don't have the deck on there because the deck is going to interfere with the sandpaper. So I think it's a good idea to get this completely sanded 
before you finish up. And also, I think it's a good idea on this bulkhead to have this sanded and uh, with at least a coat of epoxy on it because once the deck is on, it becomes quite difficult to get back under here with the sandpaper and the epoxy. So those are things you might do before you actually glue this thing down. Here's a quick shot of the boat after I've finished the deck at both ends. You can see I've used a lot of clamps. Uh, I've used five on each side. And uh, it's very important to get a good fit all the way around and uh, no gaps. So this is uh, pretty much finished with the decking except for the uh, polyurethane on top of the epoxy. And also I would want to remind you uh, it's easy to forget, I think, to be sure and put filleting up underneath this edge just to be sure that there's a good seal there between the bulkhead and the deck. So run your filleting material up under there. You can't really see it very well, but it's in there and it's important for the waterproofing. I wanted to show you briefly a quick confidence builder. What you're looking at here is the top of the rail. And you can see this has been heavily sanded with 80 grit. And you can see that here's natural wood, here's natural wood, here's the plank that's sandwiched in between, here's some resin, here's some resin, here's some resin that's in a low spot that hasn't even been touched by the sandpaper even though it's smooth. So this is a confidence builder for you so that you'll know how it's going to look when you put more resin on it and eventually varnish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe this down with alcohol and you'll see how the color all of a sudden see the color becomes very very uniform and that's a preview of what it's going to look like when you uh, put more resin on it and smooth it. And these places right here that are all irregular, they're gonna get covered up with clear resin and you won't even see them. But I just wanted you to see that if you rub it down with clear alcohol like I'm doing, excuse me, not clear alcohol, alcohol is clear, uh, denatured alcohol, you can get a preview of the wood. And you can see that all of the imperfections, the differences in color that you see, will all be taken care of. So the trick is keep sanding, keep checking with alcohol, and then reapply with clear epoxy. Well, we're getting just about to the point where all the construction is complete. You'll notice that I have the thwart installed. Uh, it's measured uh, from one bow or the other bow. And the uh, forward edge of the thwart, I believe, let me check here, it's at 78. And uh, hold on, the camera's moving around. Excuse me, it's 87 and 7 eighths of an inch from the bow, and that's to the leading edge of the thwart. That's shown on the plans. Uh, they, uh, they send you little fasteners so that the thwart can actually be <clears throat> screwed from the backside from here screwed into the rail for installation. <clears throat> I decided to try something a little bit different. I cut the thwart just a little bit short, so there's about a three-eighths of an inch spacing on both ends. I held it in place with clamps, and I apologize for moving the camera around so much, but I wanted to show you the way I decided to connect it to the underside of the in wheel. If you look here, you can see that I've used the mixture of the wood flour and the epoxy to make a very thick paste that doesn't run. And you can see the spacing, but it's glued securely on the back side. And so what I've done is effectively create a little fillet on the back. So this is the way I installed the thwart. It's essentially glued on both sides. And uh, I've got a feeling that this joint is uh, so strong that if it ever breaks, the whole boat's gonna be coming apart. So anyhow, that was my, uh, my way of installing the thwart. And uh, I think it turned out pretty well. Looks like a nice clean installation.
This is just a quick shot of the bow section that I've been trying to even up. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get this line right here, this line, this is the edge of the bow. I'm trying to get that line perfectly plumb, so I'm alternately building up one side and sanding down the other side a little bit, so you're seeing extra layers of fiberglass cloth and uh, some of the uh, West System uh, filler. You mix that with the epoxy resin. Uh, it goes on, uh, you get it thick enough so that it's kind of like the frosting on a cake. Uh, it goes on easily. It's easy to control with the um, fairing tool, that little yellow fairing tool. And uh, the only thing I would say is that even when it's as thick as peanut butter, it will run and drip just a little bit over time. So if there's a way to do this work relatively flat, like I have this here, uh, I would recommend that, and then there's there's less of the uh, dripping. But again, uh, this is hours of sanding, so um, we'll see if it's worth it. This is just a quick shot of the bow. These are, of course, the same on both ends, but you re may remember that I talked about using tape and filling up that gap between the two out rails and the deck and the edge of the stem with the... Um, epoxy mixed with the wood flour and you can see here in this picture that it's not quite the same color as the rails it sort of looks like peanut butter but it's very close and you get a nice uh, smooth transition there so it's a little little technique that seemed to work pretty well well folks that's about it for today's episode the uh, assembly of the boat is now complete the only thing that's left it's a lot of sanding. I mentioned that before. I have to paint the outside of the boat on the bottom. I have to paint that all white. And then on the inside, uh, including the decks here in the front and the rails and the thwart, that's all gonna be varnished. Maybe seven, eight coats of varnish, I'm not sure. I did wanna show you here, if you look at the tops of the rails, you can see with the light, you can see how flat they are. Well, in order to achieve that smooth finish, this was uh, four coats of epoxy, and then it was heavily sanded with 80 grit and a block. And I did that to try and get all the irregularities out of it. In some places to get it completely smooth, I was actually through all of the uh, epoxy and down to the bare wood. And so in some places I'm essentially starting over again. But uh, this is uh, just the preparation of the epoxy before I begin more sanding and all of the sanding that's involved with the uh, varnish. So I hope you like the uh, finished boat. I'm quite pleased with it. And we'll be transitioning in today's, into I should say, today's musical selection, a song by the Eagles that I especially like called I'm Already Gone. Thanks for watching. Well, folks, I'm sorry that I can't uh, bring you the Eagles song, Already Gone. It's one of my favorites. I ran into a little copyright problem, and I don't exactly understand what the rules are. So it's been deleted uh, from the end of the video, but I just wanted to show you briefly here. I'm down on the Gulf Coast of Florida in the Panhandle area. Beautiful morning. It's really calm. You can see the tiny waves, maybe three or four inches perfect perfect conditions for the kayak but unfortunately the kayak is not finished so hope you enjoy this shot of the gulf coast a beautiful morning here in the florida panhandle and i'll be back uh, with another video uh, pretty soon so long